This lesson focuses on how to produce an overhead butt weld from start to finish. This section is divided into the following five parts. 1. Required personal protective equipment and safety tips. Although overhead welding has much in common with other types of welding, there are some concerns specific to overhead welding that you need to know, such as the importance of properly securing the plate in the overhead position. 2. Welding equipment. 3. Welding procedure. 4. Common problems with this type of welding and how to avoid them. Finally, I will show you a summary movie. Shielded metal arc welding personal protective equipment includes A hard hat to protect your head from sharp or falling objects. Safety glasses with side shields or goggles over prescription glasses to prevent injury to your eyes. Never wear contact lenses in production areas. Full-length 100% gauntlet-style leather welder's gloves will allow you to safely handle all materials, prevent steam from burning you, and protect you from arc, sparks, slag and molten metal. All leather heavy-soled steel-toed safety boots provide armor for your feet and support for your back. 8-inch boots are recommended to protect your ankles from burns. In addition to providing eye protection, Helmets also provide a shield against flying metal and ultraviolet rays for the entire face and neck. Earmuffs not only guard you against sparks, spatter, dust and dirt but they also conserve your hearing. Wear a long-sleeved 100% cotton or wool shirt and keep it buttoned to the top so that hot metal or slag won't slip inside. Work trousers pant legs must not have cuffs and must be pulled over boot tops. Overhead butt welding poses some safety challenges. Notice the following important safety precautions that you will need for overhead butt welding. Before you put your shield on, turn it upside down and shake it like this to remove any loose debris. Now go ahead and put your shield on. Remember to keep a tight arc when welding to avoid spatter, sparks and hot dripping metal from falling on you. Notice this welder's position. Standing like this will also protect you from welding debris. After you finish overhead butt welding, carefully take off your shield by leaning forward and slowly removing it. When you are ready to cool the plate, remember to keep your gloves on and your face up and away from the quench tank as you lower your plate into the water. And also remember that to ensure good welds and to ensure safety of all welders, proper ventilation in the welding booth is vital. If you follow this safety advice, you will be less likely to experience nasty burns from flying debris during your overhead butt welding lesson. Before you begin welding, you'll need to know what equipment is necessary to do the job. For welding overhead butt welds, you will use all the basic welding equipment. These basic tools are The metal bag The chipping hammer The electrode holder The wire brush and a welder's shield. Before you begin welding, you will need to set up your equipment for welding in the overhead position. Adjust your stand to the proper height. See your instructor for a table extension if needed. Check to make sure you've hung the assembly correctly and securely in the jig. Place your butt plate assembly in the overhead position. Be sure that you can weld comfortably, and readjust the stand as needed. Now let's learn the proper bead placement for this weld. Note that the numbers indicate the order in which the beads are placed. For the root layer, you can use one or two beads. Here we are using two beads. Work from top to bottom, placing the beads side by side. Pause long enough on all side beads, so the bead burns into the plate. For the reinforcement layer, you can use this same side-by-side -side method of placing beads. Or, you can use the temper bead technique. In this example, we are using the side-by-side -side method. Bead 8 Bead 9 Bead 10 To begin, attach an overhead jig to your table. Position yourself so that welding sparks won't fall on you. Start to weld by placing the first bead on one side of the root layer. Angle your electrode slightly, about 5 degrees toward the side of the plate you are welding. 
maintain the proper angle for the entire length of the bead. Then place the second bead on the other side of the root layer. Maintain a tight arc on all the beads. Make sure each side bead burns into the side of the plate. Complete the other layers. If a layer requires more than two beads, use a side-by-side -side technique to weld. Add a reinforcement layer, using the side-side middle sequence. To complete the weld, as always, chip the slag after each bead. Continue welding until all six welds are complete. Visually inspect the weld when you are finished. And, see your instructor when you have completed all the welds on the assembly. Two common problems you may have when creating butt welds are Incomplete fusion and Incomplete penetration Remember that neither of these is acceptable by QAI 612.1 standards. You may also have problems with roughness when welding overhead butt welds. You can avoid all of these problems by ensuring proper, complete bead placement. Another problem you may encounter is porosity. This is often caused by long arcing. As you've learned, an arc that is too long increases amperage and heat. This can lead to two conditions, porosity and hot metal falling down on your head. To avoid these problems, make sure that you are using proper arc length. In this lesson we looked at how you can weld an overhead butt plate. We looked at safety tips for overhead welding, such as precautions you can take to avoid spatter and spark and hot dripping metal from falling on you. We then looked at the proper procedure for welding an overhead butt plate from start to finish. We finished by looking at some common problems associated with this type of welding, as well as best practices for avoiding them. Before you move on, take some time to make sure that you understand the material covered in this lesson. If you have any questions, make sure that you clear them up with your instructor. Approximately what angle should your electrode be when placing the right bead of the root layer in an overhead butt weld? Right answer. Which of the following are precautions you should take when performing overhead butt welding? Please select all answers that apply. Right answer. Which one of the shown figures shows an acceptable weld bead sequence for an overhead butt weld? Please select all answers that apply. Right answer.